So why do numbers three and five make such a great team? Because together they thrive. <laughs> three, five, thrive. That was that was terrible. Perfect. Right, broskies. So I put up a poll on Instagram about a week or so ago asking everyone what the most overrated sneakers were and i did get a few answers and some i do agree with but some i'm like bruh really so we are going to run through them but we're also going to talk about after that my own personal five sneakers that i think are severely overrated and i know not everyone's going to agree with this list and the ones from you guys but yeah it is what it is it's content it's going to be a good discussion leave it all calm as well down below what you think are the five most overrated sneakers. So without further ado, this is the top five most overrated sneakers, according to you. Now this isn't in any particular order. And yes, some featured more than once, according to you guys in the responses. But yeah, a lot of them were very interesting. Now the first one's pretty much a given, and I've spoken about this a lot of times before just because of how Nike have saturated the market with colorway after colorway. And we've seen it mostly with the Nike Panda Dunk. But I'm not gonna bully the Panda Dunk just because what is technically done for the culture. Yes, I know, Billy, the Panda Dunk has done something positive for the culture. Now, whether you agree or not, the Panda Dunk is one of the most popular sneakers we have ever seen in the sneaker game. So yeah, let's not single any colorway out. According to you, and there was a few of you that replied to this saying the Nike Dunk is a very overrated shoe. And it's mostly gonna be because it's so played out. How many colorways have we seen that look so damn similar? And don't even get me started on the quality of the materials but yeah a very classic shoe in my opinion but at the same time it is kind of overrated when you think about it and we're not talking about sbs here so hold your horses bruh hold your horses but talking about the standard nike dunk whether it is the low or even the high i feel like nike have saturated it so much that this has become overrated when it was at the pinnacle and i think i'd say it was around 2020 2021 the nike dunk was instantly a sellout no matter what colorway so possibly a lot of you just like me is absolutely sick of the nike dunk and i think i've only got like one in my collection which is the dusty olive pair and that in my opinion is one of the best standard nike Nike dunks ever but as a whole i think the nike dunk is an iconic shoe one of the best from nike now next is one uh, i don't know what to make of it but i do agree with it in some sort of way but yeah we'll leave it to the end to say my top five the next one is the jordan one i know who would have thought it maybe it is kind of a similar thing like the nike dunk how many colorways have we had recently how many are sitting and yeah we're probably sick of it by now don't get me wrong like i always say the og colorways the hype collabs they're always going to be something that you want but i mean the lackluster gr colorways and the ones that don't have the best quality those are the ones that we are sick of. So yeah, I guess you could say this sneaker is overrated. But look, I have to fight the Jordan 1's corner here. Without this shoe, the iconic silhouette, who knows if there would even be a sneaker culture. Yes, it may be overrated, but at the same time, it's so iconic. I can't even describe it. Now the next one, I'm not gonna lie. This was the first sneaker I thought of when making this list. It is the Nike Air Force One. Ah, uh, you've clicked off the video, haven't you? I know, I know. But it wasn't just me that said it. You guys said it too. Now the Air Force One is definitely a classic and I'm not here to debate that. Honestly, I'm not. And it is one of my favorite shoes ever. But I'm talking about the standard white Air Force One. The fact that you can only wear it like a handful of times and then it's time to get a new pair, that just says it all for me. And yeah, I know, the creasing shouldn't really bother me. And you can even wear crease defenders, crease shields, and the rest of it. And I'm not saying this is for every Air Force One out there. Of course, different materials, different sort of shapes, and that sort of thing. And my favorite Air Force One ever is the Flynet 2.0. So I guess that kind of says it all. I hate the fact that you have to walk like a penguin when wearing an Air Force One and don't even get me started on the price of air force ones at the moment but yeah that's why i kind of have to agree with a lot of you when you said the air force one is an overrated sneaker now speeding up things a little and yes this one i don't agree with at all just because it's one of my favorite silhouettes but it is the jordan 4. now we had a little conversation the other day 
I remember it clearly sitting like literally over there about how Nike may be ruining the Jordan 4 silhouette just because of the unwanted GRs they're actually starting to sit now and they're even going on sale and some might even say oh sneakers are dead resellers are dead or certain silhouettes are dead and it could even be a mixture of things so the Jordan 4 for me isn't an overrated shoe and yeah I know people may be slightly getting sick of how many colorways are coming out just like again that we spoke about the Jordan 1 and the Dunk and maybe because I guess the Jordan 4 is probably Nike and Jordan's most popular shoe right now and that might be the reason some people are saying it's overrated so I do get it but at the same time nah I just can't agree with that one so the next sneaker on this list was actually an interesting one one I didn't even see coming to be fair it is the Air Max 270 I know what's the 270 done to anyone so when I think about Air Max in general the 270 is the most worn shoe that I've seen in recent years along with the classics of course the 90s the 95s and even the 97s not to forget the TNs as well but I mean the 270 is sort of an all-rounder there's so many like working professionals actually wearing them and that just shows how popular the shoe is I've seen postmen in them nurses and yeah even in the gym so I guess you could say it's overrated but I mean it's just popular there's a very thin line between the two so bro skis that is the top five overrated sneakers according to you and now it's time for me to get butchered in the comments it's my personal top five overrated sneakers So there was sort of like two and a half that I have to agree with. I know the half we'll get to. But first, it is the Air Force One. And it's the reasons I've already mentioned. Just because of how much you can't really wear them in terms of like being comfortable in them. The creasing, the lack of materials, the price hike as well. And yeah, it is a classic, but that's just me. The only Air Force Ones I've only really kept around, other than ones I've beaten to death, is the Flynets. And that's only because they're so much more comfortable than the standard Air Force One. And you don't have to walk like Pingu when wearing them worrying about the creasing what's that about and yeah I know you shouldn't really worry about the creasing but when an Air Force One's creased it's just a red flag in my opinion but look I'm not denying how much of a classic it is it's probably Nike's most sold shoe and I actually think it is so I'm not denying that it's just for what it is now compared to what it used to be now next is another sneaker that I have to agree with when you guys mentioned it it is the Nike Dunk kind of similar to the Air Force One in terms of how popular it is for what you're actually getting it's like the quality's gone down but the prices have gone up and the colorways have gone even worse but yeah i guess another classic that i think is overrated i'm not going to spend too much more time because yeah it is what it is a nike dunk although the sbs are on another level i do sort of keep them separate now next on to the sort of half that i mentioned it is the jordan one wait a minute give me a minute let me sit down hold on it's the jordan one low bruh relax now I only say the low just because it just doesn't agree with my foot shape I don't know what it is my size and I go true to size with the Jordan 1 low just looks super long I don't know why and I don't even have that problem with the Jordan 1 high it's super weird so that's kind of the reason why I never got down with the Jordan 1 low yes there's some absolute bangers don't get me wrong it's just for me I can't wear them I don't know what it is it's the shape of it and how it looks on me so that's why I say the Jordan 1 low rather than the high is overrated but the next shoe absolutely annoys me every time I see someone wearing it it just gets on my absolute nerves whether it is Rishi Sunak wearing it or someone from down the road the Adidas Samba is the most overrated sneaker right now and I don't care what anyone says there's not a hipster on this earth that can tell me otherwise and yeah maybe it's the same thing as the Jordan 1 low it's just not meant for me like the shape and all that sort of thing but right now the Samba is just doing a bit too much in my opinion the only thing I can say that's going for it is the price it is pretty decently priced but other than that every colorway looks the same whether it is a collab or whatever else and it's just one of the most boring shoes I have ever seen as of 2024 the most overrated sneaker is the adidas samba but yeah i know that's only four the fifth one and last but not least and that sort of thing it is the new balance 90 60. I'm not going to spend too much time talking negative on this shoe just because I do actually kind of like it. It's just at certain angles, this sneaker looks absolutely horrific. And along with the Sambas, this sneaker is kind of like the influencer's favorite shoe right now. And look, I'm not denying how comfortable this sneaker is. That's probably the best thing about it. I just don't like how it looks and how many times I see this sneaker on people's feet. And yeah, I know it's another sneaker that's not meant for me. But yeah, 
another overrated one in my opinion there's just something about the 9060 that i can't really put my finger on it but i think it's like when you're looking down and you see how wide it is it just looks weird but broskies that is my personal top five most overrated sneakers as of 2024 what sneakers do you agree with and what sneakers do you think i'm talking absolute nonsense also what about the first top five do you agree with any of those leave it all down below and i will pin the best comment anyways bro thank you for watching kind of a different sort of video today but yeah one that's been on my mind for quite some time now some absolutely horrific shoes in my opinion but yeah some classic ones as well don't forget though do all of that good stuff like comment share and yes until the next episode take care